We begin this hour at the Hanford nuclear site in Washington State, where on Monday, three more workers sought medical attention after inhaling radioactive fumes. This adds to 19 workers hospitalized last week for the same reason, reinforcing burning concerns about the facility as, as it's been reportedly leaking huge amounts of radioactive materials for more than two weeks. RT correspondent Alexei Yeroshevsky went to Hanford and filed this report. Standing on the bank of Columbia River in East Washington, you immediately think to yourself, who would want to risk this beauty? But according to ecologist Tom Carpenter, it is under grave danger, courtesy of Hanford nuclear site. Hanford created uh, the largest inventory of high-level nuclear waste in the nation. And unhappily, that waste is currently stored in uh, leaking underground nuclear waste tanks. And now we're starting to see those failing. Uh, it's an environmental disaster. At some point, the river becomes so contaminated uh, that uh, you can't use the river. The Hanford nuclear site was part of a Manhattan project. Here, weapons-grade plutonium for the Fat Man bomb drop in Hiroshima was produced. Decommissioned after the end of Cold War, the facility has been used for nuclear waste storage. Two-thirds of America's radioactive materials are stored here, making it one of the biggest of its kind in the world. That's 56 million gallons of highly radioactive chemicals stored in tanks, some of which were put in place over four decades ago. The oldest tanks were built in the 1940s, 1950s. <laughs> they, they were not supposed to last more than 10 to 20 years. 20 years was a dream in the first place. And as you know, some of them didn't last 20 years. And we had a small explosion in the 1950s. The hot waste boiled, created a steam explosion under the tank. Um, and we were lucky that we didn't have half of eastern Washington having to be permanently evacuated. And for more than two weeks now, several of these have reportedly been leaking. The company operating the Hanford tank farm told us in a statement that they did acknowledge higher levels of radiation inside at some point since um, April 19th, but they still told us that there was nothing to worry about, there was no imminent threat to the public. But here's the thing, we're standing right outside uh, the facility and we have a little Geiger counter with us. And let's just measure a simple rock laying on the sidewalk how much radiation it may have. So it starts with the usual levels of radiation, but as soon as you're trying to scan it, it immediately goes up. Well, this is technically not a level of you know, danger for human health, but it's still higher, three or four times higher than the normal level of radiation. It's really hard to imagine what levels of radiation could be inside these walls. Instruments they have deployed there show high radiation levels, plutonium, cesium, strontium-90, et cetera. Uh, well, where did that come from? It probably came from the tank, meaning there's a hole. And how many gallons are in the tank? In this particular tank, about 568,000 gallons. It is by far not the first accident at Hanford. 1962 criticality accident, 2014 pipe explosion. Add that to constant leakages of materials into the soil and the atmosphere. U.S. government spends $2 billion a year for the cleanup and even commissioned a vitrification plant back in 2000 to relocate the waste into newer, safer tanks. But this multi-billion project is still years behind schedule and, in fact, creates a money trail problem, effectively blocking a political solution, according to the state representative. There are a lot of people at the Hanford Contractors and Energy who are carryovers from 15 years ago when the Energy Department's mantra was still, leaking tanks are not an environmental or a health threat. There's no problem if a tank leaked. And the ecology department doesn't want to rock the boat. If you rock the boat, you might jeopardize the $690 million a year in funding for the vitrification plant, which will never work. You get the contract saying you're going to build the plant for $4 billion. It gets delayed and delayed. The price tag skyrockets to $13 billion. Now it doesn't even have a price tag. And you keep making money and will instead of it being done and turning it over in 2011, then 2021, you're now going to keep making money, an endless stream of money, through the year 2035. 
Ecologists say the situation can always get worse. They hate to think what would happen in case of even a minor earthquake in a geologically unstable area, that is. But even in the current state of things, with tanks leaking nuclear poison into the environment, Hanford is already way past the ticking time bomb stage. Alexei Yroshevsky, RT, reporting from Washington State.